just the things that have changed. Take a look. We want to show you the view of the city from the top of the National World War I Museum and Memorial. So, okay, we are used to seeing the skyline like this, right? But Lindsay Shively takes a look at what Kansas City looked like a century ago. We know this memorial as an iconic part of the Kansas City skyline, but 100 years ago, Kansas City was a very different place. Union Station uh, really changed Kansas City. This is where the Liberty Memorial will be constructed in 1926. Local historian Jeremy Druin showed us the 1917 Kansas City. You know, streetcars were still the primary mode of transportation. This is the 12th Street Viaduct, so going to and from the West Bottoms. But with more cars on the road came this auto repair school downtown. A hundred years ago, downtown is thriving. Kansas City before the plaza. Country Club Plaza has not been developed yet. In 1909, the city limits went from about 47th Street to 77th Street. No Northland Casey Mo yet. Right. A growing city, but a troubled time. We're right in the middle of the of uh, women's suffrage. You know, there are certain areas of Kansas City that was still uh, very segregated. Even though you know the U.S. didn't enter the war until later in 1917, it had been going on for many years. So there was a lot of anxiety. A city and a nation on the brink of entering a world war. Lindsay Shively, 41 Action News.